Good morning, everyone. As you know, I'm Mohammed Abdul Ghani, and I have joined here in December. Okay, and uh, <coughs> the and I have placed in an um, MNC uh, right now, and 24th is my joining. So it was very nice uh, being here because this institute has provided me a platform where I can excel in my clinical research knowledge and. Uh, what we can say it and it also provide i mean it uh, enhanced my communication skills uh, communication skills especially through the english i mean resume uh, writing and uh, classes and all so very uh, this is a very good platform for every, for everyone so we have to use it wisely okay uh, i have used it and i have got placed and i'm uh, myself with bottom of my heart i'm uh, telling that telling this uh, it is a very good platform for us uh, to whatever enhance our skills even in a clinical research side or a communication skill side personality development side pharmacovigilance side whatever it may be it's a very good platform so utilize it wisely and uh, my experience regarding the recent interview it's quite uh, what we can say difficult for me but uh, because i was very uh, weak at drugs and its classifications uh, even I was weak at clinical research side, but uh, <coughs> after joining this institute, I have excelled. I mean, in the interview, I have excelled myself. That's why I'm placed in an MNC right now. And most <coughs> of the, uh, I mean, what we say, MNCs, they seek some trained candidates only, so that it will be very easy for you for them to uh, make them. Uh, come on to the path in the industry side so they mainly select some kind of uh, training students only and uh, regarding the interview the f I will explain some three things uh, explain uh, quite briefly so that you will be able to understand easily what kind of in what way we have to prepare ourselves first one is uh, I have attended approximately three interviews in different MNCs the one thing is by the starting, they will ask about yourself. So you have to explain about yourself completely from your name, your studies, your father's, your father's business, your native place, your hobbies and all. So after completion, if you uh, do it in very good manner, the first impression we call is a first impression is a best impression. So it's quite important for you to present yourself in a very good manner. The second thing is they will ask you regarding uh, clinical research if it is a clinical research firm research firm or is if it is a pharmacovigilance they will ask regarding the pharmacovigilance terminologies and all what what is an adverse reaction or differences and they will ask you to frame some kind of examples and uh, they will completely test i mean they they seek a guy with a good uh, good at term, medical terminologies so we have to be perfect at all the uh, what we say medical terms and uh, side effects and all so the suffer the first thing second thing will be this the third thing will be they will be uh, asking you regarding the drugs its classifications mechanism of actions and side effects don't uh, i mean don't panic by uh, uh, listening this it's quite easy uh, there will be for a, each and every drug there will be approximately four to five classifications uh, remember any one two drug two drugs are quite enough then mechanism of action you should a simple uh, just one line one line answer will be enough for them okay so in this way you have to even in a short answer you have to express complete information i mean use very good terms to explain the whatever the answer in a uh, single line answer should be there but in a confident way in a very good term terminology so they will not go <coughs> into the deeper so that you will not be uh, i mean uh, you will not get panicked regarding all those questions after the completion of technical they will test your reasoning and all in some MNCs they will be uh, conducting written examinations um, regarding uh, PV if they are PV they will conduct PV examinations uh, written some uh, kind some uh, uh, MNCs will conduct AMCAT exams One, another thing is where we don't concentrate is quantitative aptitude it's quite important i mean it is the uh, what we say it is a place where they will filter approx 50 to 60 percent of people 
it's very important for us to be good at uh, in quantitative to aptitude there will be three sections first will be verbal english you should be good at antonyms synonyms opposites and all and uh, the second will be uh, reasoning that will be uh, the easily done i mean anyone can done okay i mean the questions like uh, relations and all so father son the relations they will ask some kind of questions in there and while coming to the quantitative aptitude i mean there will be maths basic maths arithmetics and geometry and uh, distance speed time profit loss uh, compound interest those kind of uh, questions they will be framing and in some uh, mnc's they will ask computer shortcuts also excel shortcuts and all so it's it's uh, <coughs> it's good if you concentrate in in this also because it's the main area where most of the guys filter even with a good medical knowledge and basic knowledge they will get filtered at the aptitude so it aptitude also uh, plays a major role and uh, uh, in many they conduct amcat and all in some other mnc's they have their own examination pattern so we can we cannot we cannot guess what kind of questions they can ask okay especially in aptitude and uh, in some institutes they will ask you regarding basic uh, i mean some questions will be framed like basic cell biology molecular biology biochemistry lab techniques they they will have some questions in that it depends on it completely depends on mncs what kind of their uh, students they are seeking so aptitude also plays a major role and uh, while coming to the technical as i have uh, already said terminologies are quite important